Good Friday night, San Antonio. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery with this weather authority update. Today marked our 46th triple digit day that we've seen so far this year here in town, and we are just going to tack on to that total even more so as we head into the upcoming weekend. So here's a look at your Saturday. We're going to start off around 80 degrees, and I do think a few more clouds will build back in as the humidity builds overnight as well. Then by lunchtime, more sunshine returns, the temperature around 93 at noon, and then our daytime high is pointed around 105 with even more sunshine by late afternoon. Winds will be breezy out of the south at about 10 to 15, gusting upwards of 20 to 25, especially into the evening hours. Fire danger is also going to be elevated this weekend at times, so just something to keep in mind for any weekend plans. You can see we're pretty much going to copy and paste that forecast for your Sunday, starting off around 79 with a high around 104 degrees. Something cool that's happening, though, for the northern hemisphere, especially by Saturday night and early Sunday Sunday morning before the sun comes up the Perseid meteor shower. This is actually one of the better known meteor showers that happens for folks in the northern hemisphere. Look to the northeast after midnight and into the early morning hours. Best to find a dark viewing spot away from bright lights to spot some of those meteors. Stargazers have reported seeing upwards of 90 meteors per hour under dark skies. The good news is the moon phase will be a waning crescent, so it's only going to be about 10% illuminated, meaning the sky is going to be a bit darker and that will help for spotting some meteors. My best advice would be to probably watch them after midnight and before about 3 to 4 a.m. because I do anticipate some more clouds starting to build back in right before sunrise. But you can see even more sunshine though is going to return each afternoon. We could see a weak boundary stall to our north and central Texas on Tuesday. As of right now, that's looking like we might be able to tap into a very stray shower during that time frame. Still bet on more of us to not missing out, but just know that that's something that we're going to monitor in the days ahead. And then other than that, the elevated fire danger concerns and of course this triple digit heat will continue to be the big story.